your story, what you do when you find your mother dead, has won the Edinburgh Award for Flash Fiction and the £2,000 prize. You have won. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's an amazing story. Thank you so much. I can't believe it. To me, something like this, something like this is 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 my equivalent of of an Oscar. It's the Oscar of the flash fiction world to me. Uh, I, I just love I gravitate towards flash fiction. I love something that says a lot in few words and I like to hint at something bigger that's just my form a lot of my stories are small there's not huge plots it's very much hinges on an emotion or a character or a relationship between characters I wasn't interested in why the mother died we don't like that in stories generally there always there's always a sort of reason or a build-up or a foreshadowing but this story isn't about why the mother died. Some people who like very plotted stories or longer stories would want to know what would happen next. But to me, it sort of pivoted on the emotion. This particular story, I've sent it, I sent it to quite a few competitions and didn't get long listed, didn't get short listed. It was a story I really liked. And in a way, I was a bit surprised that that was one that didn't get picked up on. Out of the ones that I was sending out, that was one that I really had a soft spot for. Getting comfortable with rejection is one of the most important things. As a, as a writer, if you want to be published or if you want success in competitions, I did get very comfortable with rejection to the point where I was expecting it constantly. You, you know, you always hope, you always hope to win. There's always that little bit of delusion, I think. Not because I don't have confidence in my writing, but because I'm so aware of all the wonderful, inspiring, incredibly skilled writers that there are. And I'm, I'm privileged to know so many of them. Uh, and in some ways you could think it's very intimidating, but to me, it's just so inspiring to get news like this after hundreds of rejections and several, several rejections from this competition. I can't, I can't believe it. And congratulations and have a lovely day. I'm going to have a lovely life. <laughs> <laughs>